everybody welcome back to crazy hillbilly channel this is bill and for today's video we're about to have some fun <laughs> Today's video, we're going to be making a survival band made out of the paracord. So, what we're going to need is a lighter, any kind of lighter, don't have to be this big, but that's what I got right off hand. A pair of scissors, of course, a paracord. They come out with all kinds of different colors of these, and some are thicker than the other, too. I like the thicker paracord, but this is what I got right off hand, so that's what we're going to use. And uh, these clips, the paracord band clips, they come in different sizes too. I've seen like two or three different sizes. I've seen some real, real small, the mediums, and the little bit bigger ones. I like using the little bit bigger ones because they're easier to handle. And uh, they got the two, the two little spaces right there where you can put the paracord through. But I usually go in the back, the very first hole right here. And uh, and here is, it's a pack of five. They don't cost that much when you want to make these. So that was like three bucks for five. And uh, you got to write down in the comments that if you guys want one, like I said, write down in the comments and I'll mail these to you as soon as you tell me if you want them or not. So, okay, let's, let's get started with this. What we're going to need is about, I'd say a little over five feet of the paracord. We'll measure it out like this. Guessing that's about a good five feet right there. Add an inch or two. <laughs> we'll cut it. All right, we'll take this and put it out of the way for right this second. Put it over here. <clears throat> now these ends, for this paracord you just want to trim them up a little bit and my scissors kind of dull but that's good enough then you take your lighter and uh, light it up get it to that melting stage just kind of smash it down a little bit don't worry about it because we're going to probably end up cutting this off a little bit anyway towards the end of the, the band, the survival band. I'm just going to make a quick tutorial on how to make them. And like I said, you comment in the comments if you want them <clears throat> and I'll mail them right to you. So uh, make sure they're even on both sides right there. Loop it, run your finger through until you get to the end. Like I said, make sure they're even. You want to take these apart. I usually start with this end and I'll put them through. I'll put them up through like this. Then I'll bring it down to the end. Now I'll grab this end and put it through the loop. And I'll make sure it's tight like that and that's the beginning of your knot you see how I did it ain't too hard yeah just make sure that first knot is tight and bring it out like this and this is when we want to go up through you see how I did that you want to go up through like this through that first one so that loop will be on the top. Like that. Then you close it. And this is where you get your distance. See like my band I got on. This is what the end results are going to look like. With the, different, with the pattern. This side's always different. But like next week. I'll show you when I make another band. I'll, I'll use two different colors. And I'll put. They, some people call it the. X's and O's or something like that or kisses and hugs. 
but uh, I I just put X's in them. Now, I guess it's X's and O's, but uh, in the band, on every one of these loops, every other one, there will be an X in it, in a different color. I'll show you guys how to make that next week. But this is how you uh, you get your distance of how big, I like them loose on my wrist, so that's tight. I usually back it up a little bit, then have my cameraman open it up, because he's going to have to help me too during this video. So that's the size that I'm looking for right there. That's that's what fits my wrist. If you guys seen that. And uh, this is how we're going to get started with this. Remember how I got that. So I'll have my cameraman hold this side here and we'll get started. We'll bring them like this, separate them a little bit. We'll put, put, fold it like this and it goes on top. See how I did that? It goes on top. Over top. Then up through. That's how we do it. Like that. See how I did it? Then you just do it tight. And you can always tell what side is next because it will have that loop on that side. Alright, yeah, we had to change camera angles. I didn't... Looking across that table the way it was, you wasn't getting a good view of how I was tying these knots and what I was talking about. Like right here is that knot that I was talking about. That that will tell you what side that you want to start with every time. Say if you put this down and you walk away and, uh, oh wow, I forgot what side. But no, all you got to do is look at this knot right here and that will tell you what side you got to start with too. And like I said, that pattern you'll start seeing that pattern so like I said you loop this one on top you put this one over this loop over this string and underneath and back up this side so like this you pull it through then tighten see that pattern how it's starting to make that pattern right there if that camera will focus the camera is out of focus there we go come on focus in there there we go. You can see that pattern. And it's out of focus again. Hold it down a little bit maybe. About right there. Yeah. So this side here, that's that knot. It goes over top. Down and up through this side. And tighten. Now. If I keep this camera in focus. Come on, focus up. Focus on me. There you go. Over top. And up through this side. And tighten. So you can start seeing what the back side of this looks like. Looks like too. So yeah. That's how you make your, your bands. Survival bands with five and a half feet of cord. And here you go. Hold this. So like, like I said, leave them in the comments down below and uh, tell me you want these bands. I'm making like 10 of them. So tell me if you want one and uh, I'll mail them to you. It ain't going to be no problem. So I'm going to do a couple more of these knots. Then I'm going to go all the way down to almost the bottom of it. And then I'm going to show you the finish of how we finish these off. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Keep that knot tight. Down and up through. Now this side. Over and down and up. It's not real hard to make these. I mean they're kind of fun. And uh, like next week I'm going to make that other video. Of. Uh, they're going to put X's in these too. It's like a hugs and kisses or something like that. Like I said. But every other one of these. So I say like this one here, this one here will have an X, I'll skip one, X, skip one, the X, I mean you'll go all the way down through there. I'll use like a yellow paracord or whatever and uh, it turns out pretty good. I'll show you that one next week. So I'm going to pause the camera right here and work it down on down through and I'll show you the, the, the ending of it and show you how this is going to start to look. So hold on just a minute. All right. 
Now, I've started the rest of the way down, only got a little bit left right here. And uh, you can see how this is turning out. You can see the pattern of the paracord the band. And uh, if I can get keep this camera focused. <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're pretty cool to make. And uh, you hold on a minute, I'm going to change camera angles again. I'm looking across the table, and uh, we'll finish this off. So you can see me too. So uh, hold on just a minute. We'll be right back. All right. I weaved it down there. I knotted it all up. And like I said, you can start seeing that pattern of that bracelet or that band. I keep wanting to call it bracelet, but it's a band, survival band. And on the back side of it, it looks like that. And right there is the front. And you can see that X is in there. So we're going to continue of doing this back all the way down the back, back or all the way down the bottom of it and I'll show you how you finish these bands off like I said on top over and underneath you bring it back up and you give it a yank and there's that first knot over and up through over under and up through I'm trying to do this slow enough so you guys can see it you go over like that up through on this side over here then you tighten it see the pattern it's a pretty cool pattern when you get the X's in there the X's like I said every one of these every other one of them it will have an X on it and them are pretty cool bands there too I like doing the green with the yellow that's pretty cool or I can do any color you want just let me know in the comments like I said if you want one and I'll send you these See how we're getting down to the end right now, and it looks like I gotta do at least like one more, and uh, that will be about done. I'm done with this bracelet or this band here. Tighten it. All right, and I'll show you how we finish this off. Okay. We'll cut it pretty close, like this. I'll stick my fingertips there so I ain't cutting it too close. And we'll just cut it off. Like that. On both sides. And what we'll do is we'll heat it up with the lighter till it really melts real good, till it like catches on fire or whatever it wants to do. And you just smash it. Kind of form it in. So it looks like that then that won't slip off of there it'll stay in there good until you want to use it for your survival situation then you'll have like five five and a half feet of uh, paracord there that you can do whatever you want with yeah like I said these ain't real hard to do I like doing the uh, different patterns they were pretty cool to do <clears throat> and uh, that's it, that one there is done. And that's how we put them on. That's it. That one's done. I'll show you again up close up. I need to use these clippers. So, alright. That's how you make your survival bands. And like I said, next week I'll be doing another video with, with the X's in it. And I'll show you how to do that one too. But like I said, this is Bill. Crazy Hibbley Channel. I'm out of here.